Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to a car brand that has produced some of the best sports car I mean Mazda MX-5, Mazda Miata and I mean it that needs no introduction to the brand itself and which is why welcome to the world car design of the year for the year 2020 the women's world car of the year award winner and also the best family car award winner for the year 2020 which is the Mazda 3 so in today's video we are going to be doing a detailed review of the interiors the exteriors and we'll be also going on for a drive so let's start from the front now this is the model 3 hatchback which is the most popular currently in their Mazda lineup so there is also a sedan version but today's uh, specific model is the model 3 intense hatchback so uh, in this uh, model 3 you would get a blacked out grille and obviously a big Mazda logo and a relatively sloping uh, sort of front if you see and very long which I'm going to be showing you all from the side also and there is also a camera mounted out here so you get 360 camera system on this car and there is this black blade which is just made out of plain plastic and not the glossy plastic it's probably to do with the fact that if you scrape then you know it's easier to replace it and then you get these uh, uh, full uh, uh, LED headlamp cluster and then they are also auto leveling so at night or whenever you are so you don't need to actually worry about you know the leveling of the headlamps because they'll be managing themselves so there is also a DRL and there is no fog lamp by the way and then you get the parking sensors on both the sides but otherwise the design is pretty similar to the sedan and also the hatchback so on this side first let me show you how long this whole front end is like look at this I'm trying to stretch but that's that's pretty much it so uh, this this actually the whole length of the car is a little over 4.4 meters so precisely 4.46 meters so that's how long this hatchback is so you get 18 inch alloy rims which are blacked out again this makes it look really sporty especially in this red color which is which looks really good during the daylight and you get blind spot warning auto dimming power foldable mirrors and this chrome surround which is sort of half and you can see how big the the rear door is and also the the way it is sloping upwards and as a result of that if you see the windows from the sides they look very small and actually when you sit inside in the rear you can actually feel like you know the visibility is a little lesser than the usual that you are uh, used to other cars you get a uh, smart keyless entry system and also there is a blade at the bottom again that's also a normal plastic trim which has been fitted so uh, again that is to do with the fact that if you scrape you know it's just easier to just replace them instead of finding a new one and then painting it so you can see the slope line curving at the back now this is pretty famous the reason why the Mazda 3 has picked up in terms of the enthusiasm and excitement is the reason of the, the design like if you see it's so uh, sort of curvy from every angle that you see especially the rear end where the rear end is sloping in two directions it's sloping like this and also it's sloping from the back which I'll be showing you when we go to the back side so you get this spoiler which is continuing from the side and it's a nice blend of you know different curves that make up this car in the back you get LED tail light cluster and the signature LED illumination in the form of round dials and also in the front which is the Mazda uh, signature illumination and you can see that the whole car is curved like in two directions you know from the side which I was talking about and then you can see like it's narrowing uh, from from the side also and as a result of that if you see the rear glass it's a bit smaller and also the pillars are thicker and as a result of that the visibility is a little lesser than the usual that you would usually find and at the bottom you would get these two chrome tips and also this black uh, bumper which is again glossy and not the normal plastic and that looks really nice and also there are parking sensors around the bumpers and then badging of Mazda 3 and the Mazda logo which pops out from the the rear and and then there is the sky active g technology which is the engine technology which we'll be discussing when we come to that this car is pretty curvy from every direction like there are no sharp edges or anything everything has been rounded off very well now in terms of the boot space 
it's slightly less but if you see the opening is 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 bigger at the uh, bottom and lesser at the top and that is to do with the design language that has been adopted but you get 358 liters of boot space which is slightly less but enough to put one big bag for sure inside this car and then there is this big lip out here but also there are scruff plates which will avoid you know scratching your bumper but the bumper also extends quite a bit from the actual scruff plate otherwise there is a light inside boot light and also these seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 to 40 and that it will improve the amount of space so this parcel shelf is removable so you can remove but there's no place to put this so I'm afraid if you remove it you will have to just put it down out here and there is also a spare wheel and as a result of that the boot area has been raised but this spare wheel is full size spare wheel and that is so nice because nowadays a lot of manufacturers are doing away with providing a spare wheel but in this you definitely get a full size one whenever you are in a mazda 3 there is never going to be a dull moment because my god they provided everywhere leather and soft touch plastics a few areas here and there where they provided uh, just the normal plastic at the bottom of the door but wherever you touch where you are likely to touch those areas are fully covered with soft touch plastic or covered with leather and starting off with this sort of maroon and black color leather which has been like a combination which is throughout in the car on this dashboard which is again covered with leather with the red stitching and overall the feel in the cabin is pretty plush and premium you know from the moment you sit and there is a, a very sort of wider uh, you know sensation when you are in the front and again that is to do with the fact that the car is really broad from the front and it gets narrow in the back now the dashboard screen has a seven inch uh, multi-information display and there are dials uh, on both the sides but that multi-information display screen is used to show various warnings and also information related to your trips or your servicing or any notification or media and you can customize the two uh, uh, sort of information on the sides which can be analog or digital like your average fuel consumption and the range that can be changed to you know show it in the digital or analog form now coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is pretty nice and grippy you know and it's got the right amount of uh, thumb support at the right place now I'll be go doing a detailed uh, video on how to use the cruise control and the infotainment control on this Mazda C uh, Mazda 3 so make sure to keep an eye out on the notification and also make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any video updates like these from my channel so continuing uh, you get the adaptive cruise control and also the lane assist uh, feature all the controls on your right side and on the left side you would get the infotainment controls the steering is covered in leather material and it is tilt and telescopic so you have to press the lever out here and you can do the tilt or the telescopic you can do either of the two now the aircon controls are actually mix of button and dials that is good I'm really happy about it but it's it's a slightly smaller display like and it's because this this thing on top which is the design of the dashboard comes out and as a reason of the the aircon controls goes inside and also there are some buttons which have not been marked so those are the recirculation button and also to change the vent you know the flow of air and those are unmarked so you have to figure them out on your own but otherwise is a very simple ac control to use the air vents for the driver side are on the right height but if you uh, see on the passenger side the vents are on the lower side after this whole design of that dashboard is completed along with the chrome surround and then there is this uh, sort of fake grill which has been given in order to continue with the ac controls but i mean if it was just plain it would have looked rather nice instead of you know trying to make it look like a one piece and which is why the air aircon controls are at the bottom for the passengers so you really have to you know adjust the flow of it and coming at the bottom you would get this uh, this dial out here in the center console which is used to control the infotainment screen and also the buttons around it which are the navigation and all of that to control this uh, navigation system and then you have sport mode and the normal mode in this car now coming to the infotainment uh, screen which is controlled using this dial so the infotainment screen is an 8.8 .8 inch uh, crisp 
LCD display which has a really nice brightness and the infotainment system is fairly easy to use like you know you have simple menus on top and it's just the black and white theme that they've adopted and it's pretty nice so you get information from the about the vehicle you can also see the entertainment where you can uh, connect your the the various media so in terms of the connections you would get bluetooth you get usb and also you can get apple carplay or uh, android auto so either of the two if you are using an android phone or uh, or an apple phone this car will connect to that also there is a dvd player in the infotainment department so you can put any of your uh, dvds and then you can watch it on this very screen there's also so communication whenever you connect your phone using the bluetooth or the carplay or the android auto there is also navigation system the maps on this are fantastic like it's pretty nice i mean i, I wouldn't really you know uh, be impressed so easily by the mass but in this it's, it's pretty snappy and it's pretty quick also like there will be a, a glitch here and there but that's all right like it's still better than many i mean and then there is a detailed settings where you can change you know in vehicle uh, settings like the your your exterior lights interior lights door locks and everything now in terms of the music system you get a 12 speaker bose music system now bose has played a big hand in 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 a lot of systems that has been provided there is also the i i active system which has been also developed by bose system so even that when we go on for a drive i'll be discussing about that about the safety system in terms of connectivity or charging points you get two usb plugs uh, in the front one is in the center console and one is in the at the bottom of the air conditioning control and also there is 120 watt power socket but for the rear passengers there are none i mean at least one you know was needed so in terms of storage you get pretty good storage uh, to store your phones at the bottom of this dashboard and also there are two cup holders which can be covered or you can open them in terms of other storage uh, you would get a glove box which is decent enough and also it's been lined with this velvet material and also there is this big center console and you get a partition also you can change uh, using that another storage next to the driver side on the left side in terms of uh, storage in the door cards uh, you can put about a liter worth of bottle and some more storage in the door and also uh, in the back the storage is like half a liter in the passengers uh, uh, for the rear passenger coming to the seats the seats are covered in this uh, maroon color leather and they are perforated but they are not ventilated so these these seats have the perforated design along with the maroon stitching again but they are so soft and super comfortable now the driver side seat is 10 way adjustable but the passenger seat is just manual and it's not electronically adjustable honestly i really love the manual seats for some reason because i don't know it's it's just me is it also you let me know in the comment section below if you really you know like the simplicity by you know having just the manual seats because this car is again white so which is why you get quite a bit of driver space and the uh, passenger space also and it pro pretty much feels like a proper sedan you know when you sit in the front like you know very broad now another interesting feature that you get with this car is the heads up display and the heads up display is controlled from the infotainment screen the brightness the position the height the tilt yes you can tilt also you know if you if you are someone who drives like this or like this maybe you can adjust that also but uh, in terms of the information displayed it's pretty intense you get the navigation you know information you get the speed you get the cruise control information you also get uh, you know the blind spot warning or the rear warning like if there is someone in the rear it would start beeping out here on the screen and show you with what object is in which area in which part of the car you know which is blocking so in terms of that information is pretty pretty intense and uh, honestly i love that more information more than anything in this car because i use that a lot you know recently i've been using the heads up display in whichever cars i've been using and this by far feels very nice you know and pretty good to use also because you get a lot of controls from the system that you can do to in order to show the information you also get the sunroof and this sunroof is decent size i mean you know for a hatchback this is pretty good but overall what i am really impressed is is 
for a hatchback to feel so premium and you know so plush when you sit inside and that is what i really like in the back things are slightly congested if you see my le this seat is in my driving position and if you can see there is this much amount of uh, leg space and, but there is enough of uh, leg room at the bottom so you can uh, slide your feet under the seat and you can relax them but um, as i mentioned because this car is sloping in two directions which is why it gets narrow in the back and there is enough of headroom but for sure for me but things are a bit different in the center seat now there is a bit of a hump in the center uh, seat as a result when i sit and also there is a transmission tunnel which goes in the back because this car is an all wheel drive and things may get a little uncomfortable for the third passenger or the middle passenger in the rear uh, seat but otherwise the seats are again leather seats with the perforated and maroon color with the red uh, the maroon stitching and they are pretty comfortable overall and because this roof is sloping in the back i mean a taller person may find it a little uncomfortable but it's all right it's not going to be bad but it is for sure for two people and you know for the third one it's going to be slightly uncomfortable so the aircon system is a dual zone climate control system so for the front driver and the passenger but in the rear you get this sliding the sort of dial with which you can just control the flow of the air the doors also continued with the soft touch plastic and the leather treatment in the back but here's another cool feature and that is that these rear windows go all the way down so they open up all the way till down like you know some cars these days i mean a lot of cars where they just to stop somewhere out here so it's just pretty pointless but in this you can pretty much open completely which is nice you also get two cup holders in the back and that's a pretty big hand rest you know where two people can easily put their hand so the Mazda 3 comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder non turbocharged petrol engine that produces 153 brake horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque now it works on this particular principle called as the spark control compression ignition now under this system what happens is the the engine manages to be highly efficient and also it improves in terms of its thermal efficiency and also it gives you sort of better fuel economy as a result of this also you can get anywhere between a real life uh, fuel economy of 12 to 13 from a 2 liter which is pretty good also the claim mileage is 16 and a half but i'll still take the the figure of 12 to 15 Now the uh, 12 to 30 uh, 13 this engine is mated to a 6 speed automatic transmission now let me demonstrate you a little bit where it likes just a little bit okay like like the engine responds okay but it just the gearbox which takes a little while to just you know start responding to you know the acceleration but there is also a sport mode now if you put it in the sport mode all it does is improves the throttle response it also stiffens slightly the steering and it will improve the engine output also in a way where it would respond quickly to your right foot but otherwise i mean yeah it's a, it's a very very decent you know engine gearbox combination which works pretty flawlessly in everyday conditions now as a matter of fact i know that the suspension setup on this Mazda 3 is on the former side but it doesn't feel like you know because the way they they they've designed the chassis which absorbs a lot of the bumps and also the whole cockpit is so comfortable and so cozy that you wouldn't feel that you know the suspension is on the harder side and because the suspension is uh, a little bit on the sporty side let's say sporty instead of you know saying it as a harder setup so because they are meant to be sporty so what happens it gives you phenomenal amount of handling capabilities like you know let me demonstrate yeah like this is just normal okay so this comes with an all wheel drive system and even that adds up to you know the grip levels and 
it's just stunning you know like the handling is pretty pretty pointy like you know it's it grips well it you know points in the right direction whenever you want it it's not even lazy while you know taking turns there is zero roll and also the feedback from the steering system is pretty decent i would say because it's an electronic steering although it doesn't vary its nature comes uh, by changing you know with changing speeds coming to the brakes the brakes are pretty all right brakes are quite good although there's a slight bit of sponginess at the start of the of the the brake uh, pedal now also mazda has worked really well on the nvh level because the quality big quality which has been given also adds up to a lot of noise and vibration levels which have been kept bare minimum like literally i am going on national highways and i can literally hear no wind whooshing or anything and even the car feels so stable because it's sitting so low down as a result of that it gives you that stability to just you know cruise around and also because it's so long sort of affects its turning radius and that for a fact is a little bit on the higher side compared to a normal hatchback you know which would be very nippy but in this case it it's it's slightly like a sedan coming to the safety systems now you get seven airbags two for in the front for the driver and the passenger two side uh, airbags two curtain airbags and one driver's knee bag and also there is something called as i active uh, system from mazda 3 so under that system what uh, the various uh, safety features like your lane assist your uh, lane departure warning your adaptive cruise control there is also seat belt warning systems on top which shows you for all the five passengers child isofix points in both the rear seats and an excellent 360 degree camera system with smooth and quality output from it you also get the brake assist the ABS and also the tire pressure monitoring system and so many so many you know the blind spot warning system and also the warning system to tell you you know if there is any uh, obstruction in the rear or in the front so all of these systems have been designed by Bosch and have been provided uh, uh, with these cars coming to the main point and that is the price point now this this model uh, the Mazda 3 is available in two uh, versions which is the Allure and the Intense now this particular version is an intense version which uh, which is 99,900 dirhams and the Allure, Allure version is 83,500 dirhams now if you ask me I, I, I really give a thought about when I got this car I was wondering like where exactly does this car sit you know especially with that price bracket but then you know it all started coming to sense you know thinking that a lot of people really don't want a sedan in an everyday life but they want a hatchback but then in a hatchback they want everything to be loaded like their cars to be fully loaded and also comfortable and also they want it to be like a long you know so long run cruisers and then i realized that you know it all starts making sense you know as to why this car you know fits in that you know uh, sort of category very well because people don't want the sedans but they want the hatchback again this is a long very long hatchback but yet it's essentially the design of the hatchback that people are looking for and this serves that purpose and if you ask me in terms of the quality offer i mean this ticks all the boxes and in terms of the performance well it's pretty nice for an everyday performance let me tell you so the moment you step inside a little bit of time to understand you know what's where and everything and then you are good to go all in all i think it's it's a pretty great deal if you are looking for a premium hatchback you know for a premium hatchback this is a very good car and this is if you are ready to you know compensate the the lack of you know rear passenger space but at least you can still get two passengers in the back but if you still can compromise on that and also a bit of boot storage but this is a very stylish car let me tell you because wherever i've been through everyone's looking at it that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video 
and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care